You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Should have get a talk show host, successful actor, really funny uh, educational videos exposing the cult of political correctness. Steven Crowder joins us at about 15 after next hour. But I'm going to go to break and then come back and go to Joey and Tom and Sparrow and John and Dino. We're going to get to all of you before the guest joins us. But uh, going back to Dr. Edward Group, uh, the reason I asked you that question is I know, you know, we talked about special forces training and the classic stuff where they dump you off in the woods or the desert, you know, uh, different missions uh, you're on in training to live off the land. And I just see lichens all over the place. And I know growing up, my dad always would say, those have the highest level of vitamin D3 in them. And he said he had a book when he was younger that told about lichens. He had another book about mushrooms. But, you know, he, he, still his dad, when him and his brother would bring him back, would say, I don't know, that might be poisonous, but they would have debates about it. Uh, so living off the land is dangerous, but it's something people should learn. So I kind of segued off into that. Uh, you were getting into natural forms of vitamin D3 that aren't very expensive. Uh, what are some of the best uh, things? Well, I mean, ultimately, you're really not going to get, uh, no matter what dietary or what food that you, that you can eat, you're not going to get sufficient uh, vitamin D levels. Uh, you, you find D in, in foods, uh, cooked egg yolks, real fatty fish like salmon, but they actually did studies on farm raised, since most people eat farm raised salmon and they compared it to naturally wild caught salmon. The farm raised salmon had zero vitamin D in it as opposed to the naturally caught salmon, which had roughly around 400 uh, IUs of vitamin D per four ounces. So um, even if you look at the highest sources, mushrooms um, contain vitamin D really the fatty fish you're getting, you're not going to find anything really but i love mushrooms but i guess i cook them though yeah you cook them uh, in reality like i said you're not going you need a minimum of 2000 i use daily in order to get the vitamin d that your body needs to be healthy so you're you're just not going to do that and the best way to get vitamin d is to be in the sunlight and that's that's what i tell everybody to do unfortunately you have so many winter months, uh, even, you know, like For most I said, people, like you said, are working up. inside uh, during the week. Uh, how much optimally, how much sunlight do you really need? Because I've seen different studies. They argue that people that get no sun, I've seen studies get more skin cancer and other cancers than the other people. But then obviously it does age your skin. But then you always said that if I got the proper nutrients, I would tan better and not burn. You're, you're absolutely correct now. People see me and they go, are you Hispanic or something during the summer? I mean, your skin is like dark brown, and I, I love it. It looks good. And I'm like, no, I get my nutrients. Before, I would just burn. Now that I'm getting all these nutrients, I'm actually tanning. Right. Uh, well, I, I think about 20 minutes. You definitely don't want to be out to where your skin starts burning, but 20 minutes of sunlight between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., 20 minutes of good sunlight can produce 20,000 I use a vitamin D. So it's not good that I literally get high off the sun and like to lay in the sun for three hours? Well, I mean, if you're going to be out in the sun for three hours, you probably, you might be in, the, especially between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. In, in Austin where, you know, it's 100 degrees in the summertime, you might be getting a little bit too much. I love to roast. I mean, is there something wrong with me like Cass Sunstein does? Well, uh, I don't know. I've never done a blood evaluation on you. Have you had your vitamin D levels checked? I, I had a whole physical done about six months ago. They said it was all good. My blood pressure was low, low for my age. Um, wasn't but, real low. It was just a little low. The thing is, you're exactly right. We've become a sedentary lifestyle. Everybody's working indoors under fluorescent lighting. 
and there nobody's going out and getting enough sun. I mean, everybody works during those hours between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Who do you know that has time off that can just go sunbathe every day for 20 minutes? Well, no, when I wasn't getting enough nutrients, I would get sunspots when I got too much sun. Now, the sunspots have almost completely gone away. It's just amazing. Winter Sun, InfoWarsLife.com. Great job, Dr. Group. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. Hey, how you doing, Al? Good, brother. Just recently started using your products. Everything you said about them is correct. Me and my wife both use a lot of them, and it's made a lot of changes in our lives here. Well, thank you, brother, because it also funds our operation. But doing that, I know I've got to have the highest quality. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. We do the Super Male and the Super Female Vitality. Big changes, a lot of energy. We've gotten off of the cheap energy drinks, energy shots. Saving a ton of money there. Sourced from powerful organic herbs, harvested around the planet, and then concentrated for maximum potency. They want to stun and dumb down, and energy drinks and stuff just cover that up for a while, but then burn you out, in my experience, whereas stuff that gets your glands naturally going goes right to the source. So it's pretty exciting, and I love it. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. A programmable guy that goes and watches Olympus is falling and believes all this and really thinks you're a hero. G.I. Joe, great American hero. Yo, Joe. You don't work for Joe. Joe got taken over. The G.I. Joe command base is run by Cobra. Do you understand that? And I use a child analogy to get through to you because that's your main programming template in North America. They're on record with that. That was all Pentagon directed. Do you understand? You work for Cobra. You dress like Cobra. You have the tactics of Cobra. You are Cobra. Hail Cobra. You want to be little boys? Or do you want to really join the Republic? They know what's going on at the Bundy Ranch, and they won't even let a police information officer give us any information. That's a bunch of bull It's all these stupid G.I. Joe movies and stuff where the White House is attacked. The White House is run by Cobra. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. You're not even to discuss that it exists. It's run by chaos. It's run by Spectre. Special executive for counterintelligence, terrorism, revenge, extortion. They run little kids. They run the snuff films. They run the drugs. They run it all. And because you act like a bunch of naive chumps, this whole thing's gonna come down on us.
us. Very much concerns me, considering that they have all this bulk ammunition that they're shooting targets of children. Would you like to tell me who it is that is doing this? It is the Department of Homeland Security, sir. Oh, thank you for calling. To every police officer in this country, to every FBI agent, to every Secret Service agent, you work for Spectre. You work for Chaos. You work for Cobra. How do they get power? They stage a terror attack using Spectre, using Cobra. Go f yourself. Who is Cobra? Arms dealing, drug dealing, money laundering group wearing masks. They wear masks, ladies and gentlemen, because they're the corporate CEOs. And they're manipulating the governments against each other. Cobra runs the Muslims. Cobra runs the CIA. Cobra runs it all. Cobra is real. You can call it whatever you want. Cobra is in control of America. And Cobra says the veterans and the gun owners, they're saying that we're the bad guys these people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not they're nothing more than domestic terrorists that's what cobra would say that's what specter would say that's what goldfinger would say because that's who those people are i am supreme cobra commander you call your petty bureaucrats officials and authorities you will kneel before cobra Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Cobra Leader. You pathetic little worm. How dare you call me Mr. Cobra? Cobra. Who is that man in that mask? MSNBC, Starbucks cops should say America founded on white supremacy. We have that video clip coming up. Again, Infowars.com, MSNBC, Starbucks cups should say America founded on white supremacy. This from Melissa Harris Perry, the same one that says your kids don't belong to you, they belong to the state. Also, U.S. Army refuses to address concerns over Texas being labeled hostile territory in new Southcom drills to be held with other joint forces. Director of Respiratory Protection System Company warns ISIS will launch chemical attacks in London Tube. That's just some of the latest articles on Infowars.com. Hollywood making a major gun control movie where the hero's a lobbyist that gets guns banned. These people are coming for our guns, folks. And Kurt Nemo breaks down the fact that Democrats have not given up on their ammo ban. That's just some of the news on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I rarely disagree with Ron Paul, but he says after a 12-year mistake in Iraq, we must just march home. It's not a mistake. The globalists want to destabilize the whole region. It's on purpose. Wesley Clark's on record. He was in the Pentagon. All right, let's go to your calls. Joey, I apologize. You've been holding so long, but you were holding before we had a guest on. So uh, then we're going to go to Sparrow, Dino, John, everybody right now ahead of our guest joining us. Uh, Joey in Canada, you're on the air. Hi. Hi, Alex. Yes, sir. Welcome. Thanks for holding. Oh. Yeah, I'm up here in Chemtrail Ridden, Canada. Uh, I just had a point about this uh, Ron Paul and Ted Cruz thing. I feel like both of them are good options. And there's no need read for everyone to think that everything's over, even if you are into Christianity. I, uh, I feel like uh, even if uh, we don't get a chance to get, or you guys don't get a chance to get to that vote, and if you do, it's a vote for your soul, basically. Exactly. You've got to do the right thing, or at least try, and then whatever happens, happens. Let the chips fall where they may. But think about it. All this Mark of the Beast stuff's happening. The globalists are anti-human. They believe they're God. They believe they're going to transcend humanity. It's everything the Bible warned of happening. What do the atheists and people say about all this? Uh, I just don't know how they square that. We still have the choice, though. We still have the choice. This is why people are being awakened. This is why... Uh all of this is happening. Everything is filled, like the blood moons, the fact that Obama just turned on Israel in the Bible about how the whoever tries to divide Israel will be uh, God's wrath, all of this stuff. I got a couple points about how to reach the Floridic mind. I've been listening to you for about a month now, and uh, 
basically uh, the first thing you got to do is you got to play into people's envy, their their greed, their sin. You got to let them can let them teach you about something, an angle that you want to like. Say for example, I use a real estate. I asked them about the values of real estate. What 